hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can generate dynamic thumbnail of a video using fluent ffmpg library inside node.js and express so basically you can see this is the interface of the application that we've been building here so there is a choose by file button here you can just select your favorite video on which you need to generate the thumbnail so you can see it's a 37 second video let me open this video and play it you can see this is a video we will be generating the thumbnail here let me play this video so this is basically the video here 37 second long video is there so i will be generating the thumbnail of this video so i will select this video this video is selected you will see mp4 and now basically this is a second input field here you just need to provide the time so this is hours this is minutes and this is seconds so let's suppose i want to generate a thumbnail at the 10th second so i will just write the time here and now click on this button generate thumbnail so now your png image will be downloaded it as the attachment this is basically it will take the screenshot using the ffmpg library and it will download this as a png image so this is basically the application guys we will be building in this tutorial using a special module inside uh, node.js which is called as fluent ffmpg so if you just search for this module here which is uh, go to npmjs and just type fluent ffmpg this is basically the module guys and if you just uh, click this module basically it acts as a driver library for using the ffmpg library and it has got 216,000 weekly downloads and i have written a complete blog post step by step blog post guys which will guide you how to build this application and all the source code is given in the description of this video so now let's get started so first of all guys we will need to install three modules here let me just delete all these directories and also these thumbnails as well and start from scratch so first of all guys you need to go to your command line initialize your node.js package sorry project and then install malter library which is able to upload your video files inside your directory and then you need to install express also as the web server and then this fluent f l u n t fluent ffmpg so these three modules are needed for this application so simply install this using this command and now we will simply create our index.js file which is the starting point of the application so let me also delete this index.html which will contain a simple html form which will be shown to the user so now guys inside your uh, index.js we will first of all import the express module which is we need to require this express module which is we will initialize app express and then basically guys we will be starting this application on port number 5000 so we can simply say that uh, app is listening on port 5000 so after this guys we will be creating a uploads directory where all our files will be uploaded simply click create this and now we just need to set this static directory inside express so we can use the static method which is available inside express and now you just need to pass the directory name so this is set to static directory now we can upload video files which will be uploaded by the user and now we will simply need to set a simple get request so whenever you open the home page we will be showing a simple form to the user request response and here we will simply show the form to the user by using response send file and here we will be showing a simple index.html file like this and here we will create this file in the root directory so index.html so inside this file guys we will have a simple form so action will submit to the this route which is slash upload and the method will be simply post and we also need to provide encoding type which is multi-part form data because we are uploading files video files that's why and then this will be input type file and here name we need to give it a name attribute of video and this should be required and after this we will have a submit button which will able to submit the form and here we will simply say that generate thumbnail like this and also in the second one in input field we need the time one so input type text and again this will be given at the time of the video at which time we want to take the screenshot and then we will put the value here the default value will be at five seconds in the video like this and this also is required that's all so this is your simple form guys and now if you open 
this application inside the browser just type you can see app is listing on port 5000 so now if i open this application at port number 5000 you will see this is the interface which is shown to the user and now we just need to make this simple post request at, at this route so we will simply say app.post upload and inside this we will first of all upload the video to the uploads directory for that guys we just need to import the malter library so simply import this library malter and after this guys we need to simply set the storage engine so where we will be uploading these files inside malter so we can just simply declare a variable storage and we will be using the disk, disk storage of malter here and here it takes the destination so basically it basically takes this callback function it's a inside this we can provide the directory on which we need to upload files so this time in the second argument just provide uploads directory so inside this uploads directory we will be storing all the video files which will be uploaded and this is the second option we need to take is the file name so what file name so this will be request file callback this will also be a callback function and here you will be assigning the file name that is given so again we will say that file dot original name that's all and now we just need to initialize our malter constructor so we can simply pass here the malter sorry we can call this as storage or upload so malter and here we can pass the storage option to be equal to the storage that we have defined right here at the very above like this so this is storage is also defined guys so now we can simply upload the file using this middleware so we can simply say upload we can upload a single file and here you just need to replace the name attribute that you have given here so this is equal to video so here we will be providing video that's all so if this is successful you will get your path request.file.path so this will be the uploaded file path here we will let me just test it out and uh, let me upload a file here upload a video file this can be mp4 AV, avi anything click on this button you can see it is saying cannot post upload oh sorry let me refresh the application i think choose this file click and now you will see in the console your upload path is printed out so if you check the upload directory your video file is uploaded in the directory so now we can process this file guys using a module which is fluent ffmpg so right here you can upload this module so just require this module which is fluent ffmpg and after this you can just use this inside this post request we will first of all get the time as well which the user has submitted so this is request dot body on time after you get this we will simply get just put the output path which will be downloaded as the attachment so we will be giving a unique name to it by using date dot now and then this will be thumbnail dot png that's it this is your output file which will be downloaded as a png image and then we will now use this ffmpg method guys and here we will provide the input file which is stored inside request.file.path this is the path here of the file after this we will make use of this method which is seek input it will go to that particular time that we are capturing using this time variable with the help of this seek input and then it will take the frames how many frames you need to pass only the first frame and then we just need to take the screenshot using this output method and we will pass the path of the file where we need to store this output file so we are storing it right here after this when it ends this event will fire automatically and here you can download your image in the browser so as the attachment so we can simply use the express method of response dot download so this will download this image and here you need to pass the path here which is output path that's all so this completes the application also at the very end you need to run this command as well so we need to call run that's all so this will run this command it will take the screenshot and it will download this image now if i just open this application in the browser just try refreshing it and now let me hide my face i think it is let me move it here now if i just choose the file here 
and pick the time here click on generate thumbnail you will see your thumbnail will be downloaded as your attachment this is your thumbnail at this one let me now choose a different one let's suppose 15 second I need to change the time and once again select the video file so you can see a new thumbnail will be generated at that particular time which is 15 second you will see that the quality also looks very good of the thumbnail which is quite good so in this way guys you can build out this awesome little application which will generate the thumbnail of a video at a particular time using a fluent fmpg library all the source code is given in the description of this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel and also comment on this video and i will be seeing you in the next one